Alright, let's start off with the basics. Who names their dessert a s'more? Like, there are hundreds of other names to choose from, but they were like... Tee <laughs> No. I just imagined this. Hey Dad, this is a great dessert you've created. Can I have some more? Some more. Some more. I know what I'm gonna call the dessert. What? A fire marshmallow sandwich. How about you just call it a some more? Oh, okay. Okay, wait, I don't hate some mores, okay? <laughs> In fact, I love them. Especially when the marshmallows cooked to a perfect golden brown. The graham crackers are split perfectly down the middle. And there are two pieces of chocolate. Yes, two. Not one, not three, two. Here's my reasoning. Two pieces of chocolate evens out the marshmallow and the graham cracker. Because if you look closely at a s'more, 90% of it is marshmallow, 5% of it is chocolate, and... 50% of it is graham crackers. Wait. Also, you can never have too much chocolate. By the way, why do all of the European countries have the good chocolate? Like, cacao can't even grow in Europe. The only place I can think of that has its own chocolate where cacao grows is Mexico. But you would never go into a chocolate store and ask... Hey, do you have any chocolate from the country it grew in? No, you would go, Can I have some Belgian chocolate? Oh, you don't have any? Then can I have some German chocolate, please? Anyway, what was this video about? Oh yeah, s'mores. So yeah, that's why you want two chunks of chocolate on your s'more instead of one. Another thing, how do people burn their marshmallow and still eat it? It's like eating a bug, it's like crunchy. Why do people who are too lazy to start a fire use a microwave to heat their s'more. I tried that once. It didn't go over well. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish roasting my marshmallow over the fire. You know, hot dogs are a great substitute to marshmallows. I said great, not healthy.